a lot of times um, when we're working with our hands, working with hand tools, we come across a very unusual plane called a bullnose plane. And for me in my everyday work, I use a bullnose plane quite often. And it's very useful just to take a shaving or two in a rebate after you've made something. You can't get back in there with a bigger plane. You can't use a power router in there. You might need to clean something up. You can use it on its side and take a shaving off just to fit a door, something like that, a rebate of any different kind. I also use this just to take the arrace off a piece of wood so I can take the, the hard corner, the sharp corners off and it gives me a perfectly uh, smooth edge but sometimes it's setting these up that can be a little bit of a concern. So I'm gonna take mine apart and I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna take the top part off Sometimes, very rarely, we might use this as a chisel plane like this. I've never actually found any use for that, but people do use them for that from time to time. Let's take this out. I want to show you something here. I'll take the, the blade out. It's, it's on its adjuster down here, so it's quite awkward sometimes to take out. It's got these little notches in the back. The notches go onto a uh, protrusion on the adjuster there, so it sits on there, and that's how we adjust the blade forwards and backwards. Now sometimes, some people have said to me in my classes, they've said that their blade is wider than the base, the sole of the plane. And they've told me that that was bad engineering by somebody in Stanley, England, and they filed theirs or ground theirs flush, or abraded it flush with the sides. Well, that's actually not a brilliant idea because the protrusion allows you to move the blade slightly to one side or the other, so it slightly protrudes past the side, so that when you're cutting, the internal corner will actually go tight into the corner of the rebate that you're trimming. So you do want that to be that extra. It'll still work if you don't have that, but you, you want that little bit extra most of the time. So when you've sharpened up, you've got this uh, nice and sharp, slide it under that leading edge. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky because it never just slides in as you want it to, as you can see. So we're sliding this onto that little notch and then we slide it up with the awkward obstacle of that lever on the top, pressing it down the whole time. And take it in until you're sure that you can Withdraw the blade or move the blade forward, one way or the other. I'm pretty sure I'm in a good position to bring this back. Cinch this down tight. And you can always adjust it once this is back on. This enables you to extend the mouth and open the mouth up slightly if you want to. So for a heavy cut, you'd move it forward so you've got a bigger mouth opening there. Usually it's back here, but you can also take this off and you can get another piece that goes on the front part of this and that converts this plane into more of a shoulder plane that you can use with the extended sole in a good position to take some uh, extra shavings on long shoulders. Cinch this tight, let's take a look, see how we did. I'm pretty close, so I can adjust my adjuster, hopefully, until my shaving is taken off. Just keep adjusting until it, there it goes. And then set this, so you set this, you set the blade now. If I want this blade to cut, I can move it slightly so it's protruding on that one side and it'll cut nice and tightly into the corner. Cinch it down. And we're set. You want the blade to line up with the sole. Sometimes it's not so easy. You take a little hammer. I have this Warrington hammer. This enables me to go in the side of here and just tap it there or on this side. Tap it like that and that helps me to align the blade with the sole. And I can use this on the pull stroke or the push stroke. Either way works for me. So on its side, on its 
on its sole is all works perfectly well. It's a great little tool to have. That's how we adjust them. <laughs> 